reception. Peach is saying, welcome to another week of phonics. We hope you're okay. Now, because last week, you guys were so brilliant with your phonics challenge and scoring those points with all of those pebbles we've now got. So far, we're on about 11 pebbles. I know we're gonna get more this week and this is one of your challenges to do. Okay, is that all right? Oh, Peach is excited, she's saying yes. I don't know, I don't know yet, Peach. Peach is asking me, what's our treat day going to be? I don't know. You have to give me some ideas. Let me know what you think we could do. And then when we all get back together at school, which is not long, I get to see you all. Um, then we can all talk about what that treat is going to be. Okay, is that all right? Yes, let's get started. Okay, now today's challenge is actually a phase two challenge, so it won't include these digraphs. We're going to go through these sounds because we've been working really hard on them, haven't we? So we're just going to remind ourselves of these sounds, but luckily for you, they won't begin this challenge because I want to get you practicing reading more than one word in a sentence, and I thought the quickest and the best way to do it to keep getting really, really good is to practice in phase two first. But let's get going with our phase three sounds to see if we can remember them. Let's do them together first. A, v, w, y, z, x, z, j, qu, ch, u, or u, i, sh, f, or v, Now it's your turn, I'll go through them nice and quickly, our speed sounds, let's go. You're getting really good at these. Well done! So, for every question you get right, or every sentence you read, okay, then you get a point, all right? So, this is called a reading comprehension, which means we read it, then we have to think about it and understand it. I think you'll find this quite easy. You've just got to read it and think, mm, what does that mean? And you have to choose the right picture. So each time you get the correct answer, you get a point, okay? And we need 10 points really to get a pebble. I think you can do it. We've got plenty from last week. We are all working as a team brilliantly. Okay, I'm just going to move up past that. Sit. So for one point, what does this caption say? What does this sentence say? Let's try and read it together. Tricky word. The tap. Tap is on. On. The tap is on. Read that back to me. Good. So which picture matches that sentence? The tap is on. Which one is on? Yes. How do we know this one is on? Because we can see the water, can't we? Coming out. Let's press it. We were right. Well done. Okay, for another point, let's read the sentence, think about it, and let's see which picture is correct, okay? So, tricky word again, what's this tricky word? The dog. Dog. The dog has, has a pup. Pup. Let's read it back. The dog has a pup. The dog has a pup. So which picture is it? Is it this picture? Why not? Mm, because the dog is on his own. This dog does not have a pup. So is it this picture? How do you know? Because it has a pup. Very good. You're really thinking about what we have read. This is our comprehension. This is our understanding of what we're reading. That's why I think it's important that we do it with the easier words for now 
And then when we're back in school, we'll do these activities, but with the harder words, with all those digraphs in. Okay, so is this the right picture? Yes, I agree. We got it right. Well done. Okay, what? Ooh, this one's worth two points. I think it's because it's quite a long sentence to read. Let's have a go. Tricky word. The pig. Pig can. Can. The pig can. Tricky word. Go in the pen. Pen. Not the pen you write with. Okay. Pen is an enclosed space. Okay. That animals can go into. The pig can go in the pen. Oh, that's a hard sentence. So which picture shows a pig about to go into a pen? What's this a picture of? Hmm, yes. This is a picture of a pig outside a house. Is the house a pen? No, this is just a house. It doesn't say house, does it? Now I said a pen was like an enclosed space. Well, this is enclosed by a fence. Do you think this is a pig pen? Be right. So is it this one? No, that's a house. Should we try this one? Oh, it's not made a noise for us, but we are right. <laughs> well done, reception. We are right. Good. Okay. What does this sentence say? This is worth one point. It's quite an easy, quick one. The m a n. The man is. Sad. Sad. The man is sad. Which picture is correct? Is it this one or this one? Which man looks sad to you? I think you're right. I think it's this man here. Look, can you show me a sad face? Ooh, this one, he's smiling. It can't be him, can it? You don't really smile when you're sad unless somebody silly tries to make you giggle afterwards. Let's try. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Poor man. I wonder what's happened to him. Poor man. Okay, oh, it's worth another point. So there's a lady in front of the bus and there's a lady on the bus. Should we read the sentence and see? N -a -n. Nan is on the B -a -s. bus. Nan is on the bus. So which picture is correct? Is she on the bus here? So could this be the right picture? Can't be, can it? She's not on the bus. She's outside the bus. She's waiting for the bus. Or maybe she's just got off. Here, where is she? She's on the bus. So we'll click this one. Come on. Finally, the bus went. Bye, Nan. Bye, Nan. Okay, this one's worth two points, guys. Two points, it's quite a long one. All right, so let's have a little look. Oh, we can see some ducks. Oh, there's a duck in some water and a duck in the mud. Let's see what our sentence says. The fat, fat, the fat duck. The fat duck is in the mud. Mud. Mm, let's read it back. The fat duck is in the mud. So which picture is correct? Is it this one or this one? This one? This one? This one? No, because the duck's in water, isn't it? So it's this one, why is this the correct picture? Because we can see the duck is in the mud. Brilliant. It's not telling us we're right though, but we are right. Can you make a duck noise instead? I thought this one would go quack quack, but it didn't. It did earlier. Okay, oh look, this is a two pointer. Oh, this is about a rabbit this time. Now I think you've got two points for this one because the word rabbit is very hard to read. Have a look for rabbits. Can you see it? What's special about rabbit? What's different? We can hear a b in rabbit, but actually it's two b letters, even though we can only really hear it once. 
So it's double b in the middle, that's what makes it different and special. But it's still an easy word to read once we know that we just say the b once. Okay, so the rab it rabbit is on the i of. Read it back to me. The rabbit is on the hill. Well done. Is this the picture of a rabbit on the hill? No, Mrs. Parr. This is a rabbit on a hat. Is this the rabbit on the hill? Yes. Well done. And it's bouncing off. We got it right. Okay. One last point. One to go. Do you think you could do this one without me? Go on then. What does it say? The cat has a big bell. Does this cat have a big bell or does this cat have a big bell? Which cat is the correct cat for this sentence? How do you know? Yes, I agree with you. It is this cat. This cat has a big bell around its neck. Well done. I knew it would make a noise in the end, didn't I? Just hit me bored. Peach said, you are superstars. You are. Yeah, you. You are brilliant. How many did you get? You could have scored 11. What did you get? Did you get 11? Did you get 10? Did you get 9? Did you get 8? Doesn't matter. As long as you had fun trying. Peach had fun trying, didn't you? Yeah. She was doing it from the chair. She was watching. She's so impressed with all of you. She can't wait to see you all. <laughs> I know. She said it won't be long. Won't be long at all. So you keep trying hard. Get all those points so we can get that treat day sorted out. Bye.